For this game, you're going to need three buckets or containers, and they have to be different sizes. You need a small one, a medium one, and a large one. You also need bean bags. If you don't have three, you can do one and throw three different times. If you don't have a bean bag at all, you can make your own by putting rice in a sock, dried rice, not cooked rice, or just use a stuffed toy like a stuffed animal to throw instead. So set up your three containers in a line. Put the smallest one in the back, then the medium, and then the largest one will be the closest one to you. These are going to be worth different points. The small one will be worth 10 points, the medium will be worth 5 points, and the large one is worth 1 point. You are going to use your bean bag, bean bags, sock of rice, whatever you have, to try to toss into those buckets and get the most points you can. You get three tosses, so you can use the same thing and toss three times, or use three different things, and see how many points you can get with those buckets that have different points. How many points can you get all together with those three tosses? Share your pictures, your videos, and your scores with us on the Facebook page. Good luck, guys! What an awesome game, the beanbag toss! How'd you guys do? Did you guys get a lot of points? Maybe it was harder than it looks. Maybe it took a lot of tries to toss it into those bins or those containers or whatever you're using. You know, there's someone in the Bible who also did a lot of tossing. Although it wasn't really tossing something back and forth in the air. It's more like tossing and turning on the ground like a wrestler. You guess what I'm talking about, Jacob. You were right. Jacob is found in the Old Testament. He's found in the book of Genesis. If we look at verses 22 to 33, we'll see his story. See, let's give a little bit of information about Jacob. He is a fighter. Ever since he was a baby, he was fighting with his brother Esau. He continued to fight and argue, and he was this tricky, sneaky guy. And, well, he fought with his brother Esau so much that he thought his brother was going to hurt him. So Jacob ran away. And then he fought with his father-in-law so much that he also ran away from that. All that fighting, all that running, really made Jacob have a lot of pain. A lot of fear, a lot of failure in his life. And all these thoughts would be tossing and turning in his head. and He would just think about it all the time, about that pain, that fear, all that was going on. Well, not only was he wrestling with those thoughts, he actually wrestled with an angel too. God sent an angel to wrestle with Jacob, and Jacob realized something. He couldn't keep fighting. He couldn't keep running from these things. He knew he needed God in his life. While he was wrestling with that angel, the angel actually touched his hip so that Jacob was injured. And that's when he realized, you know what? I need to hold on to God if I'm going to get through this. If I'm going to face my brother, if I'm going to continue to live without fear, I'm going to need to do it with God. And so he asked for God's blessing so that God would always be with him. And he did. God blessed him. And that made Jacob able to go and ask forgiveness from his brother. And Jacob and his brother Esau were able to reunite together. And they were a family again. And Jacob always had that injury, which was a reminder to him that God would be with him. Even though he was hurt, he would still be with him through anything. Through the pain, through fear, whatever he was facing, God would be there to protect him, to provide, and just to always be with him. Don't forget to check out some extra devotion questions we have on our Facebook page.